Well, there was an event going on and I thought it was today. Turns out it's tomorrow, but um, I just got some brochures and I'm reading up about this place. This is a place I've come to off and on for as long as I can remember, but I never really focused on the history aspect of it. So um, after I get done reading, I'm gonna show you guys the house and the river and it should be kind of cool. Looking at a map right here. You see the rivers right there. I always love this little entrance way here between the trees. Okay, here is like the side of the house. You got a little storm cellar over there. Now they're going to be actually opening this tomorrow. Um, so you can get a tour. I think I did a tour once and uh, I really don't remember. Over across this way is what I read was the detachable kitchen, which I found that to be really, really interesting. This cute little walkway here. I always loved the back of this house because I always wanted like a wraparound deck for myself. Um, this isn't a wraparound of course, but just really, really cool looking. little fact this house was uh, finished being built in the early 1800s I believe 1837 um, a few years later in 1849 the owner and builder of the house died and then it took 12 years in court for the family to decide what to do with it because he didn't have a will and then a year later after they figured out what to do with it, they sold it to another family who extended the acre to uh, 1,500 acres, I believe. And it was theirs until 1989 when the county bought the house and the property. So now it's just for history and tourism. Also in 1837, they were so rich that they built these porter potties. Um, they were too good for outhouses, apparently and they decided they were gonna do these. So uh, yeah, pretty cool little fact. You can call that number and get you an 1800 style porta potty if you wish. coming around to the front of the house. It's a pretty big house. Um, not really for sure what the 1800s houses look like, but this seems to be a big one. Also, it was known for farming and for trading along the river goods, whatever goods you might have needed back then. So, yeah. used to be a boat dock but as you can see the plants have taken over and of course no boats dock here anymore strictly no walking on water people absolutely prohibited
up there is the gazebo and there is the visitor center we're gonna go sit on the gazebo because it is hot well that about wraps up my trip here i am now in a golf cart and i'm gonna drive home so i will catch you guys later